Can you hear me? Oh, it's working. I don't know that I even need this thing, but uh, I'd like to say hello to everyone. Again, my name is Anthony Donegan. I am running for school committee here in Wood, uh, in Wood 2. I say here because I remember in my old days as a Ward 3 school committee person, I spent a lot of time in this room. This is where the school committee meets typically. Um, I wanted to say thank you so very much to the NAACP for putting this forum on. And I wish I was a little shorter, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make do. Oh, okay. That's, that's all right. It's, it, these are just the bane of my existence, but okay. This isn't too bad. All right. Again, I'm, I am now a Ward 2 resident. I live over on Ellis Street. I used to live in Ward 3. I'm a lifelong Brocktonian. Uh, as, as I implied earlier, I, I served once on the school committee when I was in Ward 3, so I do have some experience in this job. Uh, I lived here all my life, raised my family here. Uh, I went to the Brockton schools. My sons went to the Brockton schools. I just graduated my youngest just, na just a few weeks ago. He's off to UMass Amherst. Uh, my other son, Seamus, is here. And my mom was a teacher in the Brockton schools. And th th I have a great passion for the city and, and also a great passion for education and the schools. I love the Brockton schools. It, uh, and I want to be your school committee person. Um, to give you a little background or, or a little information about what I'd like to do on the school committee, is I have a couple of priorities. The first, and probably the most immediate, uh, as you may know for years now, the state funding for the schools in Brockton has been dwindling. Uh, and we've fought and fought and fought. Our legislative delegation has fought to restore some of that funding. And they have been lucky on, on a few occasions, but we've had to lay off a lot of teachers. Classroom sizes are exceedingly high in Brockton High School now and all over the district. So we need, uh, Chapter 70 is the, gen the Massachusetts general law that deals with the um, funding of cities and towns schools. So that's one of my big priorities is to push for that. And uh, my other priority is to, and this is something that I'm hearing quite a lot, is better communication between our families and our schools, uh, the, both the administrators and the teachers. I, I think that there has to be more of a focus on diversity. I think that there are some efforts being made in the Brockton schools right now to have a more diverse faculty and administration, and I'm going to push to ensure that that continues. Uh, the other thing I think we need is more of a, of a focus on bilingual communication uh, with our, our non-native English speaking parents and the schools, and that's another thing that I'll fight for. So I see that my time is about up. I didn't think I'd even make three minutes, but here I am. Thank you all very much, and I hope to see you out on the trail.